Hi, this is Megan of Megan's Creations. Today I'm going to show you three quick tips for making titles. Um, it's kind of a way to make your own alpha, um, just to add some pizzazz to ordinary fonts that you might use uh, to make more visually interesting titles for your layouts. I'll be going over these three techniques, stroking, then um, how to make your stroke its own layer so that you can add additional effects like drop shadows, embossing, and an ombre effect. So we'll start with our blank paper here, stroking. So in your um, layout, you start by just typing the title you want. Um, maybe say a day at the beach. I'll change that from being white. <laughs> I'll make that say pink for now. All right, and I just picked a font that I liked, um, the mosquitoes caps font. Okay, and lots of times with thinner fonts, it's hard for them to stand out, even when you add a drop shadow. So it's fun to add a stroke. And the blending options, we come down here to stroke. And then we'll click on the color. And usually I like to do it white, kind of like a sticker. And it'll be hard to tell against this. But um, I usually make the stroke between 18 pixels and 25. No more than 25. Uh, it just makes it look too bubbly for that. In this case, I'll go with an 18. And we would usually change the color of the background so it's a little easier to see how this looks. But um, once we make the stroke, you come over here and right click it. And then we're going to go create layer. This will put the stroke on its own layer. And then we can add drop shadows. The problem with adding a drop shadow when it's still a stroking, it's still a layer effect, is that the drop shadow has to will have to be even bigger than it normally would be because it has to branch out past the stroke. And so I find it easier to just let the stroke be its own layer. And we can actually do this with a lot of different things um, and lots of different types of layers and, and layer effects. And I'll do another tutorial about that, how I use that to create a drop shadow on its own layer to blend items better. Um, so that's stroking that. And you can always, if you want to have a layered look, now you can add a drop shadow to the one on top and uh, have a kind of stacked look for, the, for your title. Um, I, I'll use that to... I find that um, fun to do to make it look stacked with double drop shadows, drop shadow on the original letters and on the sticker. So that's stroking and again the key there creating the making the stroke its own layer by right clicking on it and going create layer after you've applied it. Okay. Um, the other effect we're showing is embossing and it works best with thicker fonts. Um, so I was using it with Bebos New. You can always play around with it with um, lots of different fonts, but I find the bold ones work better. Okay, and so this one will come to blending options, and we will go to bevel and emboss. And you have lots of settings here to play around with. First one I usually changes the shadow mode. Um, if you do multiply, it's going to be a dark black. I mean, you can always change this color, but I prefer to do a color burn, and that way it takes whatever color it is and makes a darker version of that for the shadows. And um, if you have a white font or a white color that you're using, you will need to use something like linear burn or multiply so that it will show up. Um, for screen, that's how bright the glare is, the highlight part. If you're using a lighter color, you're going to have to make this screen really high, like 100%. If you're using a darker color, say black, it looks kind of odd to have that sharp of a highlight. So I would definitely tone it back down towards 50 or lower. 
Then we have um, the, the angle. You can always mess with that. Um, it automatically will set to use global light. But um, if you do drop shadows in a certain direction, you would want to make the, gl the glass go with that same direction. Um, and then size, we can play around with how bubbly we want it to be. Um, soften helps keep it from having sharp edges as you make it um, more, you know, 3D. Then what's great about the um, bevel and emboss, we can always come back and also do a drop shadow for our title. So I love doing that. I love having given it that raised look. That's embossing. And then the last one is the ombre effect. And I'll go ahead and do that with um, with this same font here. I'm going to make it big so you can see it. Okay, so I decided I want the top to be pink and I want it to be lighter on the bottom and, and go to the pink. So under blending options, we go to gradient overlay. And first thing I'm going to do is change the angle to negative 90 so that it goes lighter to darker. And this is a great one to use with if you're if you like mixed media type layouts and you're just going to put this on the background as a paint. Um, you could try to use black and just go overlay and we can we get that style there. If you're not um, liking that, then we can go to gradients and we can change it. And what I'm going to do, see I need my pink. I'm going to add that pink I've been using to my swatches so I can use it. Cancel this first and save the pink in my swatches. Okay, there you go. That's better. And then come back here to blending options and the gradient tool. And now it's there also because I did the eyedropper and put it in my foreground. Um, but see that goes to opacity of zero and that's not what we want. We want it to be 100% there and then just a lighter pink. So maybe something like that. And then I've got to change this back to negative 90. And now it goes from a light pink to a dark pink. We could always play around with these settings. I think it could be a little bit lighter. Yeah, something like that. Make it a little bit lighter. Okay, and that's the ombre effect. And by doing it as a gradient overlay, we still could, you know, add a drop shadow if we want to. Um, maybe add some texture to this and make this our title. Um, I do think that with this it might look better just as an overlay in the background um, as your background paper, something like that to blend it with mixed media. But there's three techniques for um, for your making your layouts, your title layouts. Um, a day at the beach, we used some stroking, made it its own layer. And the lovely, we did some embossing. You can always play around with those features and kiss me the ombre effect. I hope you found that fun, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.